everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in American Truck Sam once again, and dun dun dun, we have not picked a job yet. Why? Because we are going to get a new truck first. I've decided, I've been thinking about it a lot, I love the Volvo, and that's still going to be our primary, but these are our short runs. This is our short day trips, four hour runs, usually the max, but I've decided that I actually want a truck for cross country. Okay. And I've been thinking about it a lot. Do I want a Volvo? Or do I want a Kenworth? I think we're going to go with Kenworth for now. And if I feel like I want to switch over to a Volvo, we'll do it later. So we're going to buy a brand new Kenworth. It's going to be the full cab, like you see here. And that's going to be our cross country, like hour or two video length of just crossing the country. That's what we're going to bring on board here. Cause I wanted to bring a more American truck simulator to the channel. Also, Danielle's in the room. You may or may not be able to hear her by the level of the volume that I have right now. But she is here. She says hi. Let us first, let's, uh, I haven't bought a new truck for so long. Let's go to truck dealers. Let's see if we can find one on the East Coast. Do we have, we're going to buy a Kenworth. Indiana, Michigan, Ohio. Damn it, there's one in New York. <sighs> Fine, I guess we'll buy it from Ohio. Buy online. Let's see. There's our big bomb, and there's the cab we're looking for. Customized configuration, yep. Okay. <clears throat> Full cab, that's 100%. We need the 300 gallon tanks. For an engine, we're gonna go with just the top one that they recommend. Transmission, it's automatic, so we're gonna go with the seven speed. Um, I'm very particular. I actually am not the fan of the high beasters. Beast came in to visit. That's new. I'm not the biggest fan of the stereotypical Kenworth, you know, the cross stitch. I like, I like the smooth, but of course we are going to go with the luxury edition here with the uh, little bit of color. And I'm looking for a custom blue. Now this, this is very important because if we can't do this right, then we're going to go with the Volvo. A very specific blue that I'm feeling for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. No. Getting there. Definitely getting there. Yeah. Still a little bright. Danielle, what do you think? You like blue. I wish there was a way just to turn down like saturation or something. It's not bad. It's That's better. Be you got the pearlescence in there still. You got the sparkle. Yeah, I, I wanted it to be bright. I think that's what we're going to go with for right now. That's good. Okay. Accessories. Now, this is where everything we we're going to start with the tires. I'm always a fan of the Goodyear 79, 8, uh, 295.80, and I just want to make sure that we do that throughout. So, 295. Oh, Beast, you're so cute. He's just walking around happily. He's a happy boy today. Technically, snow tires. 9060. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to zoom in on a truck. Let's see. We'll do those. Those will be fine. It's the marathons. Yeah. Okay. That's first and foremost. Now, rim is super important because we're going to be driving this long enough. I want to make sure it's beautiful, which is right there. We will actually go with. Hmm. It's so hard because they're not as chrome as I'd like them to be, but nobody's going to see them. So what's the point? It matters to you. Yes, it does. There's that. And more chrome. Just everything's chrome. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, this is something I was thinking about when we were coming back from dropping the RV off at Loudon. I was thinking about 
I kind of wanted a truck just to be able to go, you know, cross country with. And this is what I think it's going to be, possibly. We're going to look at this, we're going to buy it, and then we're going to put together a Volvo. And we're going to see what they look like half, side by side. I think that's going to be the best way to do this. So this episode is pretty much just going to be tricking out trucks. It's true. Don't need a snicker from the peanut gallery. Snicker, snicker. Uh-huh. Let's see. I, I want the spikes in the front. It's douchey, don't get me wrong, but... I could put the Volvo on even though you can't see it. Uh, ski, ski, ski. Hey, now you're breathing really hard, kid. I don't want that tire. I didn't want to click on that. There. Looks a little small, doesn't it? Hmm. I mean, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine by me. Don't want the additional. Well, maybe. What's the additional lights look like? Maybe. There's that. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> no, but I like the option. I didn't even know that they had updated. Really neat. Uh, I'm still not a fan of these because they're not colored and they look giant. They do look a bit out of place. And that's why I always end up going with a Volvo because <laughs> they're not huge. You got closer to watch the stream. I, I think that's more I progressive. I got to leave, then Hussy came and stood on my foot oh. and demanded attention of me. So I kind of took one step forward and two steps back. I I'm gonna I'm gonna have this for now, but I almost guarantee it's gonna be just like it usually is, and I'm gonna have to end up uh, taking this away. Oh, I want to customize it. I don't know how to customize it. It's probably something in the settings. Main mirrors. I want them. Of course, I want them the same color. Husky, you stink. Holy crap, she kiddo. She needs to get her teeth brushed. I tried the other day. She said no. And then hmm. Ella was like, I'm going to eat the toothpaste. I'm like, thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, Ella wouldn't let me brush her teeth. She just kept licking the toothpaste over and over again. And of course, if we are driving Kenworth, Pac-Man. For me. I don't want a pat on the head. It was super cute. You got pat on the head. No, you need a Arnold, Arnold Palmer. That's yeah, I wish. Choice. If I could figure out how to make mods, I'd have a lot of different things in here. Starbucks. No, I would not have Starbucks in here. Yeah, I know. I saw it. It makes me kind of crazy. Two Pac-Man. I'm trying to get a second one in here, but they don't face the right way. Just staring into Ella's soul. Pretty much. I like that one right there. And then I usually put... Okay. Same thing. Right there. Also, the Volvo, I can put something in the cup holder. <laughs> That's a plus. Instead of it just on the dash, waiting to fall off. Yeah, literally. Backpack. And then, of course, we've got to put in Ella... Except that dog has more of a longer coat than she does. Oh, yeah, very much so. But that's going to do... that. Okay, we are broken here. I can't turn around. All right, well, yeah. that's number one. So, confirm. Purchase. Um, as I said, don't make me do it to a normal place. Um, actually, I really wanted to do... Where's Colorado? That's my first drive. I want to drive to Denver. <laughs> Let's do it from Kansas. Why not? Like, okay. You could have just automatically picked a slot. It no. wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> nope, don't do it. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to look at them side by side, like I said. But first, while we're here, let I don't think I ever found the other Volvo. Ooh, they're kind of all over the place. There's also one in New York, too. New York seems like a good place. 
to my things. So that's a statement I never thought you'd say. Las Vegas, buy online. <laughs> the only truck you can buy. Now, with this comes responsibility uh, because there are like 750 different things that you can do with this truck. And you think I'm exaggerating, but I'm actually not. You're about to find out here. Okay. So that's lifted. This is lowered. This is semi. And then you can have like six sets of wheels. Bye, Danielle. More wheels. And then super long for some reason. And then ultra lowered. Then long. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So this is six by four. Lowered, mid lift, lowered. Um, I think it's going to be this one. This is just the standard six by lowered, just like that. We are going to put in, let's put in the Volvo engine, I guess. Okay. This is going to be an automatic, so six speed. I kind of wanted a seven, but okay. Now, this is interesting. So we can either, let's see, we can turn like this, and it'll put us into the back. That's the 1,800 degrees, where we can actually sit at our table with our maximum magazine, apparently. Let us come over here. Why? What? Yes. Now, let me go back to the front. Or not, I guess. Okay. So we got, we got the standard. We got the luxurious, which just added a little bit of trim. Being honest, added some trim. The elegant. The exclusive. I'm one for the wood paneling. Always will be. Unique. Ha <laughs> ha. New. I'm not the biggest fan of the brown seats, though. Elegant. Luxurious. I do like the change. I think this is what we have in our other truck. All right. That's what it is. All right. Now we need to see if we can bring that to life. I do have the Jeff Fabiano skin. And Swift. Custom color. We do have custom metallic, correct? Yes. Okay. It's good. I don't know if it's what I want, though. Hmm. It's hard. It's got like this purpley tint to it. It just looks so blah. I go too dark, it gets too, too much. That's a really nice dark blue. Let's do that for now, I guess. We can always change it if we do, if we want to. Okay, like I said, here's all the options, starting with tires. And we'll throw on the same. 295.80. My Goodyear, the marathons, perfect. Nice and right there. Rims. Gonna go with the chrome, of course. 
the spikes up the front, because why not? There we go, Volvo and Chrome. And back. Look good. Volvo, yep, good. I figured if we're gonna have Volvo, we might as well say Volvo everywhere, right? <laughs> like that, perfect. Okay, tires are set. That's the easy part. Door handle. Paint, plastic. Might as well go with chrome if we're going to light it up. Only plastic. Only side lights. So, okay. Plastic lights. Side lights. Side lights on handle. Only the logo. Bar and logo. Light and bar. Light and logo. I like the light and logo. Good. Okay, we won't even go. We will work forward, I guess. Chrome. It's just flags. Okay. So paint with antennas. Looks good. And we will put on... Hmm. Do we like rectangle or round? I like a rectangle. Just gonna remember to do that on the other side, that's all. So we can paint it plastic or chrome. Keep it probably chrome for now. Up front. Okay. Eh, maybe a little bit on the side. All right, we'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I just had to take a quick phone call. All right, where did we leave off? There's about 6,000 different options. Let's, uh, you know, the longer those sat there, the longer I like them. So we'll throw those on there. We don't need any caution flags there. We are going to put on the mirrors. Can I get them in paint? Yes, I can. And that's why we pick a Volvo. I do like the chrome frame. I'm not one for mostly chrome, but if you look at my car, you'd call me, you'd be like, ha, you're a liar. Got a giant freaking eagle on it. Paint with logo, paint, skinnable, Gla glass. This seems like a bad idea. All right, so we've got chrome on the front, looks great. I like the old logo. I just like the bar that goes across, it looks better to me. Um, I do kind of like the custom now. Dan Danielle's back with us, by the way. Sort of. Sort of. Um, do we like... I don't like it painted. That's a grill on the truck. I don't like it painted. Yeah, no, it's okay. um, there is chrome, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. Or the open no. open nose. Okay. Back to this, I guess. I didn't like that at all. Noticed. Um, I don't really care for tint. There are already LEDs anyways. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe now that we've put that on there. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, there's that. So many options. What's this? That's in the back. Why are you trying to let me do that now? I'll do that later. Bumper. No. <laughs> I don't need any of that. Nope, we'll take that away. Boy. Regular bumper. Paint. Chrome. I guess chrome. We got chrome everywhere else. Uh, no. Make it like scoop paint low. I don't know if that would help me in the long run. I could put a little spinny light on the side. <laughs> it doesn't even fit in the truck, right? All right. So there's that. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to go that low, but I think if this is meant for highway driving, that, that'll do better. I don't know. I don't know anything 
our trucks. <clears throat> Another blue mirror. By the way, I finally got the blue that I was looking for. This is the blue that I'm looking for. <laughs> Tire's fine. Okay, what, what's this? Window decal? No. Stock, low tint, high tint. Oh my god. I can tint the window of my truck. Low tint. I have a feeling that's going to come back to bite us, though, and I'm not going to be able to see out of it. Flags on glass? Flags on dash? What? No. Like your spirit, but no. We'll put that in there in a second. Um, we'll need the lights, I guess. Oh, some of these are really nice. Except some are also kind of ridiculously honking huge. I uh, wish that was a little bit smaller. Chrome, we've already gotten that. Go away. You see, there's too many options where everything just starts to overlap. Meow. That looks fine. I don't need a bar. Yes, I want those glass. Um, I guess this paint. I can't get this little duder over here. There we go. Oh, I don't need anything from it anyways. Glass. Okay. Did they get everything? So many options here. Yes, I'll do the skirt in a second. Okay. Now, I think we can finally start working our way back. Okay, that's obviously on that side. What's over here? Aha. Okay, so I had to do this before. They're individuals. Now, do I want round? Or do I want square? Round? Can't really tell. Can't see them. We already have, ah, uh, that's right. We already have square on the mirrors, so that's what we're going to do. Square. 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 You can't see them because the, the dot's in the way. But they're running lights on the side. should pop up. Yeah, it's over here on the ground for some reason. I don't know, it's bizarre. It's funny, because after all the work that I'm putting into this, the more I'm probably going to go, yes, we're definitely going to pick the Volvo because of all the extra crap we put onto it. But I wanted it to be fair. I wanted to be able to see side by side and then be able to make a decision. Perfect, okay. Look in the back here. Yeah, I like having these. Volvo, I don't mind that being there. Now, I did this before. What did I want, though? Right blinker? Left blinker. Brake light. Parking light. Actually, you know what? Brake light. Brake light. Brake light. Parking light. Parking light. Yes, I'm letting this up like a freaking 4th of July, but might as well. Okay, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Wide plus. That's what I actually usually like. Because then you got like like super wide. Like right here. Yeah. Oh. There we are. There we are. Um, OK. 
kind of just like the stock. You're not going to see that much of that part of the truck, I guess. No. No. <laughs> and we start getting ridiculous. I think that's, this is what I have to end up working with here. They're short, but whatever. All right. Um, I do like the front, the small fenders. Actually, can I do the encased here? I thought there's a paint option, right? Yeah, right there. Boom. Make sure that's what we want. We're not going to put any extra lights on it. No cover. Nope, we don't need that. Making sure we got everything else back here. That's fine, I don't care. There. Yep, and then... Volvo text, Volvo text. Absolute badass. That's definitely me. Absolute badass, but a duck instead. Captain America. Standard. Chrome uh, woman. Darth Vader. Eagle. Elvis. Another girl. Girl on a bomb. Keep calm and drive a Volvo. Like a boss. Loud pipe save lies, passing side, suicide. <laughs> Punisher, Route 66, smoke. Mind if I smoke? That's actually kind of funny. Speed camera, speed camera test vehicle. I like that one. USA flag, I like. Volvo, but with a deer. I don't even want to know what that is. It's not driving, it's trucking. I think we're going to go to the flag for now. Actually, let's go with just the standard. Volvo. I know, super exciting. Once in a while, an extra something will pop up, and I just want to make sure we've done our due diligence and we got everything on the outside. Now we can move inside. Okay, those are fine. Fine. Steering wheel. Let's see. There we are. Do we have a, a turning assist here that I like? Nah. Wasn't sure. Okay, that's outside the truck. That's outside the truck. Dash. Okay. Now, sometimes things fit in here. Seeing if we had a Coke Zero. We don't. Can I put one in this cup holder? No. Why do I have a cup holder that I can't put anything in? I mean, I could put Nutella in it and just say that Danielle's coming with me. I don't eat Nutella anymore. I have fun. <laughs> put Axe, but that, I don't wear Axe. Paper towel? <laughs> right. That's exactly how you'd put a roll of paper towels into a cup holder. Mm -hmm. Toilet paper. No. Nope. Chips, flashlight, frame of family, a crown, <gasps> a little pot. Oh... I want to put you somewhere. I'm going to. I don't, just not there. Rubik's Cube, because that sounds right. I could put a Pac Man in the cup. Look at those little eyes looking at me. <laughs> Slowly judging me. Waiting for my demise. I could put a mini windmill. These are all things that don't belong in a cup holder. Uh, a Buzz Lightyear. That does. I, I mean, that does, yes. A TARDIS. Lightning McQueen. Bender. I would love to put a phone in it, but it's not correct. Tugboat. Sonic screwdriver. Okay, we're going to put nothing in the cup holders, apparently. Pac-Man goes right there, as always. What else did I say I wanted to put up? Do you remember? Okay. Oh, yes, the little. I hope it's animated. Actually, I hope it's in here. Windmill. Windmill's my backup here. I 
I really should put in a phone. Okay, we'll make sure we put in a phone there. And then, do you know the name of the plant? Oh, there it is. Plants vs. Zombies or whatever. Oh. I, I have no idea. But yeah, I got, I got that much. Coke. These are all things that are not right. <laughs> okay, uh, I got nothing else. I got no ideas to put in the rest here. I could put a Coke way over here on the dashboard for some reason, where I'd usually put Ella's fan. So that's what I'm going to put there, if it'll let me. Yeah. Fan for Ella. Already got that going. What can I hang? Because I can't put a Pac-Man up here, and it breaks my heart. And I had a Spider-Man for a little while, but it got way too obnoxious. It's just he... Oh! Oh, there must have been an update then, because that wasn't there before. Um, I've never been one for those mirrors, so I don't need that. Let's get Nugget in here. There she is. Then I'm always one to have a backpack or a road bag on with you. And then that's it. Yeah, home sweet home. Confirm. Purchase. Where do we put it in Ohio? <laughs> no, we put it in Kansas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Truck manager. So, here we go. Do we want to drive the A, the Kenworth? Or B, the Volvo? Probably the Volvo, because of all the work we put into it. Here. We'll drive both of them, just to see what they look like. You're going to make me go all the way to L.A., aren't you? Yep. <laughs> I hate it. You grab a car from a garage, and it automatically throws you to L.A. <laughs> and then you have to transfer garage to be able to see it. Gotta love it. Better be daytime. So, this is the Kenworth. I'm going to bring it into the sun. Not a fan of the paint already. But there's the Kenworth with all of its glory. All right. Instill this into our brain. All right. Come in here. Hey, Ella. I'm letting you know it's hot in here. <laughs> I know. It's like you don't have to stand in here. Yes, I do. I know she does. She usually sits here, though. And yes, I would love to have a fan on but it messes up with the audio that we get from the microphone. So, I don't want that now, do we? Now it's 9.22, whoa, okay. This already looks better in the sun, but let's back it up. Also, look at the reflection on the truck. Damn good graphics, actually really good modeling by the people who made the truck. All of our fancy lights. Let's hop into the cab really quick. Oh, it doesn't dance. Oh, wait. It moves, though. See it? <laughs> He's such a small Pac-Man. All right. I, th I think it's going to be the Volvo. I, I, was, I was all for Kenworth until I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. You can do whatever the heck you want with this. There goes a Boeing 747 in the background. All right, so I guess our decision's been made quickly. What do you think? The Volvo. Oh, the one that we were just in. Right. The one with the flower in it. Right. Helpful. <laughs> I'm not making any landfall-free decisions for you, so. All right, I want to go to Kansas. Oh, that's where our other Volvo was. That's funny. Quick travel. All right. It is now going to be 6.39 a.m. on a Tuesday. <clears throat> All 
All right. Well, there she is. In all of her glory. So Danielle's car we call Big Blue. Is this super Big Blue? Biggest Blue? I actually like that. I'm going to step out and grab a screenshot. I'll be right back. All right. So that's... Let's, let's kill that engine really quick. That's actually going to do it for this one. It was just the customization of the truck. You're going to have to wait until the next episode to actually see us go on the road for the first time. Where we're going to be going from Kansas City to Denver, Colorado. Really, really excited about it. And I'm actually excited to see what we're going to pull. So... With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, we do live stream on Twitch at Padfoot TD. On YouTube, it's Padfoot TD Space Games. If you want to follow us and see the really cute pups we're always talking about, that is Padfoot TD Games on Instagram. And since Danielle was here for part of the video, it's it's uh, zero kids and counting if you want to follow her. She gets better shots than I do. She's got a little bit better of a camera, depending on the day. It's weird. Um, let us know in the comments below what you thought. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It really does help us guide us to what you like, what you don't like. And a subscriber follow is always nice just because we know that we're putting on for an audience. And I thank you guys for watching this episode. But with that said, I thank you guys so much for coming out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.